Water supply. Refer to three modules, 060302, E, F, and G, for more information on pressure reducing valves, booster pumps, hot water recirculation, hot water tanks, and potable water distribution. The following will illustrate the mechanics of water supply for a 14-story building. Below is the 6-inch Blue Brute or C900 water service for this building. A sacrificial anode protects the boot from corrosion. Stainless steel ready rod should be installed between the elbow and the valve to prevent them from pulling apart. The master control valve should be an OS and Y valve in this example. The culvert protects the riser from corrosion. This is a combination potable and sprinkler water supply with a pressure of 550 kPa or 80 psi. A turbine high demand and rotary meter low demand are incorporated into a compound meter for this building. Three valves are required on a meter bypass. Water meters need to be grounded and accessible at least 12 inches from the wall. Booster pumps are used to lift water and to supply adequate water and pressure in a multi-story building. This intermittently running booster pump is equipped with a centrifugal pump, pressure relief valve, pressure switch and a check valve. Booster pumps range from a quarter horsepower to 200 horsepower. The pressure switch recognizes the pressure in high demand turning on the pump and on low demand it bypasses the pump through the check valve. As water goes up the insulated riser, it drops 0.433 psi per foot of water column, thereby requiring the use of the booster pump for adequate pressure for the top floors. As this building is 180 feet tall, the booster pump will kick in at 127 feet. As the pressure will no longer be 80 psi, and each floor requires at least 25 psi. Water hammer occurs when water is forced to change direction or stop suddenly, thereby requiring the use of water hammer arresters. Bottom cold fed hot water tanks are susceptible to siphonage. Vacuum relief valves are installed to prevent this from happening. The purpose of a sacrificial anode in a tank is to prevent corrosion. The temperature pressure relief valve prevents the hot water tank from exploding when the fusible plug melts at 200 and 10 degrees Fahrenheit. The ideal temperature exiting a mixing valve is 120 degrees Fahrenheit. A 1 16th of an inch hole should be drilled into the swing check valve in order to prevent the temperature pressure relief valve from blowing off. Hot water recirc lines are installed to prevent thermal lag in a building. 
This downfeed system requires the use of pressure reducing valves as pressure will be too excessive as it returns downwards. A strainer is installed on the high pressure side of these 70 to 25 psi pressure reducing valves in order to prevent dirt from clogging it. Sometimes a parallel pressure reducing valve installation is installed in order to allow two less expensive valves rather than one large expensive valve. One of the two hot water lines exiting the hot water tanks is at 180 degrees because it is feeding the restaurant dishwasher that has no heat booster. The right hot water line is the recirc line. It is required when the system develop length is at least 30 meters and supplying more than four stories. As the water runs downward, its pressure will increase 0.433 psi every foot. There are two 70 to 25 psi pressure reducing valves installed down on these downfeed pipes. There is still another 76 feet to the base of the building. This means that it will increase 33 psi more to a total of 58 psi or an acceptable pressure at the base of the building. As we travel down to the parkade, the recirc water line and the main hot water feed will join together with a balancing valve. The purpose of the balancing valve is to control the flow of hot water in the building. The balancing valve closest to the hot water tank should be barely open and the balancing valve the farthest away should be fully open to allow for a balanced flow of hot water in the system. Water supply, it's in the code and in your modules.